What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are finally showcasing Garatina for Series 10. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, only takes a second of you guys' time to support me as a content creator. So I really do thank everybody who supports me. But getting started on this team, in that top left corner, we have the one and only Defiant Galarian Zapdos over here. Love this Pokemon. He's just a giant ostrich. Very fun to use. Very good all around fighting and flying typing with Thunderous Kick. Brave Bird coaching to boost our ally Pokemon attack stat and defense stat. And then the tech, which works the same as a protect. His item he's holding is that Lum Berry. So any status conditions, we can just take off right away with that berry. Right next to him, we got Tapu Fini, Misty Surge, Assault Vest, so we can circle up them special attacking shots, Moon Blast, Muddy Water, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Nature's Madness for its final move. Middle left, we got the one and only Garatina over here, the heart and soul of the team, Levitate ability so ground moves cannot hit it, Grecious Orb, is that how you pronounce it? I believe so, but that's his signature item which boosts the attack stat or the damage of Ghost and Dragon type, so it's basically like the Adamant Orb and the Lustrous Orb for Polkia and Dialga but it's just Garatina's item. We got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Shadow Force for big stab damage, Breaking Swipe for dragon stab damage, and Attack Drop, and then Protect for our final move. Can't have a solid Garatina team without Incineroar. Again, I'm not even gonna say anything about this Pokemon. You guys already know everything about it. Everyone's using it. It's basically the same moveset, the same item, the same ability, so there's Incineroar. If you guys wanna look at it, study it, it's right there. Bottom left corner is going to be our Trick Room Countermon or our Trick Room Pokemon at the same time. That is going to be Stock Attack over here. One of the better Ultra Beasts in my opinion. It's just super strong, especially in Trick Room, and it rolls out in many different instances. We got Beast Boost ability, Safety Goggles for its item, and then Stone Edge, Gyro Ball, Body Press, and Trick Room for its moveset. Final Pokemon is going to be a support Pokemon for this team, and that is going to be the one and only Mushroom Pokemon Amoongus over here. The Pokeball Mushroom. I'm going to start calling him Mushy or something like that. Just give him a little nickname, something along those lines. But Regenerator adds his item, or not item, ability, so every time we swap out, we get a little bit more HP when we come back into battle. Rocky Helmet as our item, so every time a physical attacker hits us, they're going to take a decent amount of damage, which is awesome. I feel like Rocky Helmet is starting to be used more and more in VGC, so it's pretty cool to see new items actually start to see the light. Protect, Grass Knot, Rage Powder, and Spore for its moveset. Pretty standard for Amoongus. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you guys know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Garatina Series 10 team. Let me get question of the day out of the way because this is a fairly important one in my opinion. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below, would you guys like to see two videos per team on the channel? So you guys already know the deal. I usually use one team per video or one video per team, whichever you want to say, and then I make a video on that, showcase the team with three battles, and then move on to the next team. Would you guys like to see more in-depth battles by me going into two videos to showcase the team a little bit more, or would you guys like for me to keep it the way it is and keep using the variety of teams that I'm using every single video? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback, but we're hopping into our first battle here, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team, alongside with Incineroar, Landorus, Conkledor, Sableye, and Regilecki. Okay, I kind of want to go into my main main character. Just right off the rip, dude. This sick little Pokemon right here. Love this Pokemon. Love this little dude right here. So I might go into Garatina and I might coach him up. That could be the play. Could be the play. Or I could pop a Trick Room in case we're going for speed control. Or I could go Tapu Fini. Hmm. Let's see if we go Garatina here. And maybe Zapdos. What do I really want to go into here? Go Tapu Fini. Let me go Tapu Fini. Definitely want to bring in this Incineroar. And then later in the match, we're gonna... what do I want? Sakataka, maybe? We're gonna bring in Zapdos. I really just want that uh, Tapu Fini there just for speed control with the Icy Wind. I feel like that can work out really, really well. So, we'll see. Usually, I would like to play Garatino with the Zapdos so I can coach it up, get that attack boost and the defense boost at the same time. But if he's playing Shadow Rider Kylox, that's a pretty fast Pokemon. I can just protect the Garatina or go into a Shadow Sneak from there and just start dropping Icy Wind to take speed control for the battle. But let's see who he goes into. He's gonna go with the Regilecki and Zabai, which I'm cool with. But a little disclaimer, guys, your boy's a little sick. I got my second vaccination shot. So, for starters, my arm's killing me, dude. I, I lift the pass here, and it's tough. And then I have a little headache, so my volume's on low. And I'm a little stuffy, if you guys cannot tell. So I have my water right next to me, if you guys see me drinking that. Or, like, coughing a little bit. That's why. Your boy's not feeling so hot, but he's still recording some Pokemon Sword and Shield for you guys. But let's get started here. Uh, I could go into a nice and lovely little shadow for Force Turn 1. Thinking about doing that. I'm going to Shadow Force over in the Regilecki slot. And could go into a Moonblast. 
I think I'm just going to Icy Wind and potentially take off Sash. Because one of these Pokemon has to be rocking out with Sash, right? Trick is going to pop out here. And it's going to fail. It's going to fail. Nice little Trick fail there. But that's totally fine by me. He's going to drop her speed. I'm cool with that. We're dropping their speed. Let's rock out from here. I could drop a Moonblast next turn. Which I might do. That force is popping. We are managed. So whoever he swaps into is going to take big hit. It does hit through Protect as well, which is just lovely. So Sashes are gone if he did have any on him. But I would think either the Regilecki or Save Live would be holding a Sash, right? They're just typical Sash mods, you know? But let's see. Dude, jeez, my arm, man. I got my shot yesterday, yo. I woke up, like, sweating and everything. I was like, bro, dude, this is not good. Your boy's not feeling good. But that thing is a jack button. Maybe the red's like he was Sash, but it's all good if not. So he ends up swapping real quick. He tried tricking me, but it failed, which was great, which we love to see. And he's going to go into Incineroar, which I'm totally cool with. Intimidate will not affect... Oh, it does affect Garatina down there. That's so whack. That is super whack. Yeah, I say that. That is super whack. Well, let's go into a Muddy Water here. Let's try to get off some damage. I could go for Speed Control. I could swap, knowing the electric move is coming in hot. And just go into my own Incineroar. Because he could just be faking me out. So I might just go into the Intimidate here. And keep my Tapu Fini for later, right? I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's do a hard swap here. Have my uh, Garatina probably take out the uh, Reg like here with a big old Shadow Force. Which we'd love to see. And I might swap the Garatina after that, depending on what happens. Because again, he is minus one and he is a physical attacker. Let's see how this one plays out. Fake out's definitely gotta be popping out, right? T Bolt. No, he's not. He's just going, he's trying to double down into me. So heavy T Bolt on me. And my Citrus Berry is going to proc instantly. I'm cool with that. I wish my top of Finny did have Protect, because that's really the move I want to go into. Dark Slayer is going to pop, and he thought Garatina would be able to outspeed him, but he does not. But he does not, because he is minus one on the speed board. But big old Shadow Force. Big old Shadow Force comes through, hitting really hard. I think it's time to swap my Garatina. Actually, maybe not. But I do have Fake Out Ready to Rock. I do Fake Out Ready to Rock, so I could just Fake Out the Incineroar and play off of that. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to go into Save Live, which is oh, cool. I'll drop into another Shadow Force. Because the last Pokemon I'm thinking has to be Shadow Rider Cadillac, right? But if I go into this, I could just fake out onto Incineroar. Get that flinch roll in there. And I'm cool with that because another Shadow Force should be able to bring down this, uh, this, what's it called? This Sableye. And then I could potentially swap out my, my boy here. He's going to end up swapping and showing his final mom, which should be the Shadow Rider, right? It is going to be Shadow Rider. I'm with that all day. I'm with it all day. All dang day. No one never gonna come out here. No more berries allowed to be eaten. And I think that works out for us because his Incineroar hasn't eaten his berry yet. Probably holding it, right? That or safety goggles, but safety goggles is very like it's like very rare to see on Incineroar. But we're gonna we're gonna vanish here. He's probably going to swap again. He cannot protect through. And I could just parting shot. Hmm. I'm gonna just parting shot in here. Have my Incineroar in the back end. Let's do it. Let's part and shot because, oh, maybe I should double down into uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. See what he does. He's gonna end up with John. Okay, that's fine. I'm so cool with this turn. I'm gonna swap my Garatina after this. The Sableye should go down here, no problem. And my part and shot should be decent to bring down this thing's attack so Darkest Slayer cannot take it out. I'm with it all day. And I definitely have to swap that Garatina because a Shadow Sneak could be so big. It could be so big late in the game up against that Shadow Rider Calyrex. But let's swap you. I could go into. Hmm. What do I want to go into? I'm going to go into the bird. We know the Darkest Slayer is coming out, so I'm trying to think of what I should really go into. What does Jeans want to do here? I think just going into Top of Vinny here. With that Assault Fest. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. And I think Incineroar outspeed, so if he's going for that Darkest Slayer, that's totally fine by me. Parting shots can come out here. Okay. Are we parting shots on me? I might just hard swap next turn into my Incineroar. Or I might just try to get off an Icy Wind, which could be great. I'm probably going to hard swap the Garatina, like I said. Shadow Rider's going to have to come back out here. Imagine if we made the read, and we and we hit up on the Shadow Rider on the right side. That could be huge. But, let's see how this one plays out. I need my attack stat back. I need it back. So here goes my Shadow Force. Should be able to take out Sableye, no problem. Get this thing out of my game. Dude, Shadow Force hits so hard. It does not take him out, yo. That's whack. I'm kind of upset with that one. I am going to protect here. Or I could just swap. What do I want to do? I'm going to protect first. And I'm just going to drop an Icy Wind. Try to slow down these Pokemon. 
What do I take out Sableye? Because Sableye could just be quashing up. Go for a Sizey win here. See how this one plays out. Protect from Garatina pops out here. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I could Shadow Sneaky take out now, but like I said, I need to get him to swap. Trick is going to come out here. He's going to take my Assault Mask. Son of a gun. And what are you giving me? Oh, you gave me nothing. You gave me nothing. You already used your eject button. So he's just taking my assault vest here. And you should be able to eat this up, Finny, right? Top, you should all day. Yeah, easy eats for top of Finny. Go for our icy one here. V, send that out there. Beautiful. Chipping away. Slowing down, more importantly. So another icy win, I think, should be able to take out that table. I no problem. Oh, it was a crit. Okay. It was a lovely little crit. Hmm. What do I do here? What do I do from here? I'm thinking of just going for a straight hard swap here. Hmm. What do I want to do? It's hard swap. Let's go straight for the hard swap there. And then I guess we'll go for another one of these. I'm going to go for another icy win. I have to start taking speed control here, so I'm with that all day. But again, I think he uh, he still outspeeds me and he takes me out with an Astral Barrage. Or he could just quash up on me. Let's see what he does. Let's see his play. Let's see his play here. He may to come out here, drop attack of special attackers. I'm totally cool with that. I mean, Sableye could have a physical move. Yeah, he does with Shadow Sneak. I'm cool with that. It's easy eats. And let's see what he's going to go into from here. Another Astral Barrage. Okay, I'm totally fine with that. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. Top of Finney's going to go down here. And Sinor's going to be able to eat. And we just get back out, my boy, right? We just get back out Garatina here, right? He has that Grimnade boost. We just Shadow Sneak into that thing. Or I could start Shadow Forcing. Um, I think Shadow Shadow Sneak is going to be play here. I think I double down into him. He could quash me. I think he's going to quash me. He's probably going to go for the Shadow Sneak and double down into me. So I'm going to Shadow Sneak on him and try to get rid of this. Uh... I'm actually going to double down into this slot. Not Shadow Force. We want to go for Shadow Sneak. Let's do this. I'm doubling down into the slot just for the sheer fact is I don't want him taking me out. I'm gonna end up with Draw on the couch. You son of a biscuit, dude. You son of a biscuit. Going back into him. Okay, I can shadow sneak next turn, dude. This is this is a good battle. This is a good first battle for today's video. A great first battle. Nice little swap from him. Shadow sneak is going to pop here. It's not gonna do much damage at all. But slowly chip away. We'll do we'll do a little chip damage here. The shadow sneak's gonna pop out from him. And it's an order to easy eat that up. Good swap again. Really up to me. Throw chop's gonna slide through. I think. And we're gonna do a little bit of damage over there. And at this point, I think I just uh parting shot here. And then just shadow sneak and take you. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I can hit a hard swap here. Uh he does have speed back in his favor, which I hate. I really, really don't like. Shadow sneak's gonna fly through here. Take you out. This one's going to be close battle. We might not win this one. Dude, we don't take him out? What you mean? What you mean we don't take him out? He's slowly chipping away on my Incineroar there. Hard Shot's going to pop here. We don't take him out? That's super whack. I don't like that one bit. And maybe he's parting shotting onto my Incineroar. Or maybe it's on my Garatina. We are going to bring out the Zapdos here. The lovely little Zapdos. And I can could, I could definitely see him going for a parting shot here, right? We bring out the Zapdos. And a Lariat's gonna pop. Darkest Lariat's gonna pop. Eat this up, yo. Say that's a tasty snack. Tasty snack, all day. Oh, I thought he was going into my Garatina slot. I thought he was going into my Garatina slot. Okay. So the Thunder's Kick can definitely pop through here. We can do some big damage on you, and then another Shadow Sneak could just pop through here. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop a Shadow Sneak here, and then I might swap it to my Incineroar. Garatina pops this, Shadow Sneak's gonna be able to take out, and Thunder's Kick should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Let's see what he does. See his player. We actually hit first. Thunder's kick. Coming out from the bird, baby. From the bird. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Beautiful turn by me. All right. I'm with that all day. Okay. So, he's probably going to start targeting down my Garatina. I could hard swap, but I again, I do not think that's the play. It's a hard swap right here. I think the play would be to shadow sneak into this thing and drop a Brave Bird as well. That's definitely my play, right? It's got to be my play. Got to be my play. He's definitely going to outspeed me. Drop my lovely Brave Bird and the Shadow Sneak. And just Shadow Sneak. We're trying to chip away because one Astral Barrage I think could do a massive amount of damage onto my Garatina. Even though it's super bulky. It's high on the HP stat. It is really high. But I think we need to get off damage before this thing does go out. So Shadow Sneak popping. 
doing a massive amount of damage. That's beautiful. That should be game. That should be a lovely game, unless it picks up a double kill. Which I wouldn't be surprised. I was going for an expanding force. Okay, yo, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally cool with that. Get out of my face. It's GG's. That's GG's all day. So you can have the grenade boost. We can actually drop another shadow sneak. But that is why I actually wanted to... Uh, I was thinking about swapping the Garatina again. Because without that minus one on the Garatina from the Incineroar, we would have been able to pick up a KO easily with one shadow sneak. Right? Let's look how low its HP is, right? Isn't it down like a little bit closer or uh, a little red, right? Yeah. With an attack boost... Or with that, without our attack drop, we would have been able to take that thing out easily. But battle number one is going to go to us. It's going to go to us, which is awesome. Solid first battle, not even going to lie. He does not cancel out. Garrett is going to be able to pick up the Shadow Sneak Kill. We get to show off this Pokemon fully in battle number one. Now we can hop into our second and look to go back-to-back -back for today's video. Time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Mimikyu, Serena over here, and then he's got the Landorus, My Shao, and the Real Boom. I got my boy Grookey over here to help me pick the teams here. I absolutely love these plushies, man. I got them when Pokemon Sword and Shield kind of like first release and I started getting the BGC. I got Sobble, I got Squirt Bunny right next to me, but Grookey's my favorite, so that's why he's chilling on my shoulder right here. But I'm trying to think who I should go into here. Grookey, what do you think? All right. I'm with it all day, Grooks. I'm with the Incineroar lead. That's a great low call, man. Dude, Grookey knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing all day. We're going to go with Incineroar lead. Who, who should we pair with him? Yeah? Okay. All right. All right, Grooks. I see you. He, he said he wants a... Uh, he said he's taking Garatina or Tapu Fini. I think we're going to go Tapu Fini. I think we're going we're gonna to take Tapu Fini here. We definitely want to bring Garatina here. And then final Pokemon. Hmm. I could bring Stockataka. I could bring Stock Attack here. What are you thinking? You have Stock Attack? Okay, yeah. Let's rock out Stock Attack here. Let's run it. Let's get after this one. Let's hop into our second battle here. Look to go back to back. But, yo, dude. I have to do about these plushies. Like, look. I got Sobble right here. I main man Sobble. Love this one. And we got a uh, Score Bunny. That Score Bunny's right over here. I main man Score Bunny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, dude, I don't know. I really like these starters. I really do like the starters. Like, the final evolutions aren't my favorite. But starting-wise, just the looks on starters, they're definitely one of my favorite. I really, really like them. I really do like them. He's going to end up leading the My Shao alongside with the Mimikyu. So, two physical attackers, which is great. Sinnoh is going to be able to get all that off. He's probably going to try to fake me out. So, I'm going to fake him out at the same time. I'm going to fake out the My Shao. And I could just protect my... I could go for a Trick Room. And we do have Stock Attack. That's big. If he ends up going for a Trick Room, we can just hard swap into our Stock Attack and roll from there. Timonate is going to pop. It is going to be attack drop on both those guys. Oh, My Shao's in a focus. Totally forgot. So, I guess Fake Out shouldn't come out here. That's one we cannot fake out onto. Mimikyu, and then this guy has inner focus, so it's not going to do anything. So, I think we just, uh, maybe go for a parting shot. Or we could double down into you, and then just take the speed drop. Actually, we're not going to take the speed drop. Just in case he does end up going for that trick room. I'm just going to moon blast to take off this guy's. And probably bring that thing down to stash. That's probably going to be the play, right? Let's see, see how he plays this one. Because usually Mimikyu's kind of only there for trick room. As of recently. As of recently. Mimikyu used to be huge in double battles, and then, like, seasons changed, new rule set came in there, and then Mimikyu hasn't really been seen in the light. Now you really only see him if they're trying to pop a trick room. Let's see what he does with this one. He's going to end up just withdrawing the Mimikyu right off the rip. He's going to go out in the real boom. I'm totally cool with that. Real boom is going to come out here. He's going to set the surge. He's going to take away my surge, you buttered biscuit. And I could potentially just hard swap here. Uh, mm, I'm trying to think what I could do here. The so fake out is going to pop onto Incineroar. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Moonblast is going to fly through here. Do some big old damage there. And probably bring it down to Sash. Yeah. Okay. So that thing is Sash. Um, I think I gotta watch out for the glide. So I might hard swap into uh I'm thinking of just hard swapping into I mean he could go for the fake out. But I think he's gonna go for the glider or the fake out. He can just flare butts and icy wind him. That's the thing. If he goes for the fake out, I think we just play it smart. I think we just play it smart and change it to Stock Attack. Hmm. Now let's swap into Garatina here. I'm gonna swap into uh, Garatina here because I can Shadow Sneak next turn if I have to. He does have Fake Out popping on him as well. This is now I wish I had Encore like my Wind Sky in the last uh, video, which was amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. Garatina's gonna get the hard swap and he is gonna go for the Glide, so good call by me. That's why I wish I did have a Protect. That is exactly why I wish we had a Protect. Close Combat's gonna fly through here. And it's Cinnamore does end up eating. That's huge for us. That's huge for us. We are going to go down the recoil damage all day here. All day we're going to go down the recoil damage, but still. Oh, actually, not the berry. The lovely little berry. 
This is a lovely little berry. Actually, we still might go down to it. It's gonna be close. Depending on how much damage we do here. Flare Blitz is flying through here. Thank God for that attack drop. And we bring him down to red. I'm with that all day. And yeah, Recoil still does take us out. And so the berry was pointless. It was pointless. It's a huge damage coming out there. Um, I'm trying to think how I should go into this one. I am trying to think. Okay, so we got this. I can just Shadow Sneak up. We definitely have to play Stock Attack here. Uh, hmm. Hmm, what's the Genes one do here? Probably just Shadow Sneak into the Roll Boom. Something and then just dropping like a Gyro Ball or something. Hmm. Or I can just go into a Body Press. Go Body Press here. And then I'm thinking of just Shadow Sneak into taking out Roll Boom. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this done. I think Rollboom poses a bigger threat, considering how powerful his Grass God is in this terrain. So, let's just take him out. Wait, we should be able to get first turn, or first shot here. Or will Grassy God come out beforehand? That could be tough. That could be real tough, if Grass God does. But I think Shadow Sneak should be able to beat it out. Let's see. Does it go down the speed after that? Well, I could have popped it. Oh, I should have popped the Trick Room. That should have been my play. I should have popped the Trick Room there. So Shadow Sneak's gonna come out here. We're gonna take out the uh, Roll Boom, and then I am going to take out this, uh, my shot here as well. Taunt's gonna come in hot. Oh, you buttery biscuit! Thank God we didn't go into a trick room. Thank God we didn't go into a trick room. The body press flying through. He is. He did have Taunt on it. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty dope. So he does have the Ice Pokemon. He does have. He does. He is gonna have Ice. Uh, ice Calyx. But we did get a Defense Boost, which is good. So I could swap in the top of Finny next turn. And see what Sakataka can do. Because, yeah, there's the Calyrex. This one's going to be tough now. This one's going to be super tough. We definitely have to swap. Or I could just uh, hit a hard protect here. And Mimikyu's going to fly out here as well. So I think I'm just going to protect the, uh, the Garatine here. And potentially swap him next turn. And I could just go for a straight Gyro Ball. Do I go Gyro Ball or do I go... Ooh. Do I go Stone Edge? Let's go Stone Edge here. If we can get a crit on that, that could be huge. Or if I can at least bring him down to really, really low, we can just Shadow Sneak up and finish him off. Let's just see how this one plays out. Let's just see how this one plays out. Because if Calyrex, if Calyrex takes me out here and reads my Protect, that's going to be tough. But I see him really going for just uh, the Glacial Lance or whatever it's called. No, he does read me, bro. He reads me. He reads me. Son of a Biscuit. Stone Edge still comes out here. We outspeed the Mimikyu. And that is some huge damage, yo. Staka Taka. Coming in big, getting that crit. Crits land more easily, so it wasn't just a whole luck factor for me there. If so, I, th I think we we're bringing him down pretty low for a Shadow Sneak to be able to take him out. But yo, stock the attack with a defense boost, helping him out there. And Trick Room is going to pop, yo. Give it up for my boy Grookey. Give it up for my boy Grookey over here. Tell me what team to pick. Doing it good? Doing it good? Let me grab a sip of water. Let me cool myself off here. Let me cool myself off here. That's gonna be GG's. This guy's probably just gonna cancel that battle. I am going to Shadow Sneak in order to take off his uh his disguise, and I'm just gonna gyro ball to finish this one off. Let's just do it. Let's get it done. Get it done. Cancel the battle. We don't you don't want to waste our time. He does want to waste our time. He does want to waste our time. Shadow Sneak's gonna come out here, take off the skies easily, and then gyro ball. Actually, Mimikyu's gonna go first, so it could potentially take me out. Let's see his play. What's his play here? Oh no, stock attack is faster. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. That is lovely. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Gyro Ball finished off that battle. We go 2-0. We go back to back. We're going to hop into our third and look for that perfect record. What is up with us going up against Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Calyrex for today's video? This is our second time going up against the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Looking for a perfect record here. And our special guest for this battle, my boy Score Bunny over here. We got my main man chilling here, yo. Love this guy. He's chilling on my shoulder. He's going to help me pick this team right here. But I think we definitely have to bring Garantina. Garantina is a must, right? Yeah, Garantina is a must, he said. All right, well, Garantina is definitely a must. Do we lead the Tapu Fini? Yeah, Tapu Fini could be solid. I'm thinking of popping a Trick Room early on. I do like that. I do like that. But he does have Malwak, which could be scary. Uh, let's go Incineroar. Incineroar works? Yeah, Incineroar works, he's saying. Um, he says he just wants the top half. All right, I'm with the top half. Actually, should we bring Stakataka? Could bring Stakataka. He did do work last time. I'm going to bring Stakataka. Is that cool with you? Okay, yeah, it's cool with you. But we're going to lead the Incineroar with him. Garantina? Sure about that. All right, we'll rock Garatina. We will rock Garatina. Actually, or do you want Finny? You want Top of Finny? Okay, we'll go Top of Finny. We'll go Top of Finny. We'll go Garatina. 
And then you said you want Saka Taka? Yeah. All right, Saka Taka works. All right, so there's Score Bunny's answers. Score Bunny won this team. Let's rock out here, grab ourselves that perfect record. Let's get it, baby. Maybe next video we'll bring out Sobble, because Sobble didn't get to see the light, man. Actually, we'll get Sobble chilling on our shoulder right now. How, how about that? How about that? We'll get Sobble over here chilling on the shoulder for, for a little bit, for the first couple turns, and then we'll rock out. Dude, I've been, like, dude, these plushies kind of just sit on my side, and they just add so much pizzazz, I think, to my desk. Like, I come in, I always straighten them up before I record and everything, make sure they're sitting right. And they just, they just get my day started off strong. But he's going to leave the Lycan Rock alongside with the, uh, the Malwak. That's the best part about this game. You can play with one hand. I can legit just move it, hit A, and hold Sabo on my shoulder. <laughs> but let's see what he does here. Jimmy's going to fly through here. And I think both these guys are physical, right? I believe so. I believe both are physical. That's huge for us. The so nice big intimidate. I could just go for a straight throw chop, which I'm thinking about doing. Or I could fake out the Lycan Rock. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to fake out the Lycan Rock and just drop a nice little Icy Wind here. Take speed control? I'm with it all day. If I can take speed control, I can just throw chop next turn and then potentially just uh start taking this battle and controlling it in our favor. I just saw a crit on the fake out. Get him out of my face. Lake and rock flinches. Icy wind's gonna fly through here. Speed drop is going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. Speed drop, because then I can throw chop on the Malwak next turn. Potentially just take him out and then just drop a muddy water at the same time. Which would be super effective up against both. We love it. Own Meringue's coming out here. That's, that's looking a little tough there. That's just, that should only hit twice, right? Yeah, which is easy for my boy in My citrus berry still popping. My citrus berry popping. Gotta love it. Okay, so we got that. We're chilling here. What's like not gonna do here? Actually, it just uh, flinched. So, okay, so we're fine. So, Throat Chop definitely gotta fly out here. And then we just drop in a Muddy Water across the board. Across the board, Muddy Water. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Your run's gonna fly through, and you have speed. Wow, he's a quick old boy. But still, that minus one attack drop is huge. Makes him not be able to kill us, and Muddy Water is going to fly through here. And it's gonna do some big damage. It's gonna do some big damage on both these guys. Lycan Rock goes down. Throat Chop sliding over to Malwak, and that is going to be two easy kills. Two easy kills setting us up for victory. Let's keep rolling here. Let's keep rolling here. Yo, perfect record coming out with a Garatina team? It's sure looking like it. It is sure looking like it. Let's run it. Couldn't have done it without my boy Sabu, Yuki, and Sword Bunny over there. Help me pick teams. Get me on the board. We rocking today. We are rocking today. Let's see. Who's he going to go into? Who's his next two mods? Calyrex. Fine by me. Fine by me. And then, oh, he's just going to drop an Ash Rod. And Glacier. And Glacier. So Glacier is uh, rather slow. So I saw my Garatina. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. <laughs> Still my Garantina. Uh, do I go for a Flare Blitz or a Throw Chop? I said we go for this Flare Blitz to run this thing. I'm going to go for this Icy Wind just to get the speed drop. Let's see how small plays out. I think Astro Barrage is going to just be hard for us here. It's going to hit us pretty hard. We do have the Soul Vest on top of any, which I really, really like. So here's, oh, a Pollen Puff. A Pollen Puff? <laughs> Yo, what? What is this? This thing really just pollen buffed me, bro. Get this thing out of my face. Get this thing out of my face. Hits me with a pollen buff. Ice Wind's gonna fly. Get that lovely little speed drop. I think a, a Shadow Sneak should be able to take out Calyrex. Right? Shadow Sneak does hit hard. Last time we were able to bring it down really low. Really low with minus one on the board. I wish Power was gonna fly through here. That's easy eats. That's easy eats all day. Let's bring out my main man's Garatine here. And this one should be an easy battle here. What's this dude using Pollen Puff for? I, it worked, but like, yo, Pollen Puff? <laughs> In Master Ball Battles with a Calyrex? Get that out of my face. Shadow Sneak's gonna pop through here. Um, I think we just drop a Muddy Water just in case the Calyrex does survive. We can double hit and we can uh, finish it off. But I think the Shadow Sneak with the Garatina should be enough. Let's see, the Garatina. Such a good Pokemon. Shadow Sneak comes out there. There it is. Rips him up. Takes him out. No problem. That's gonna be GG's. That's gonna be GG's. Perfect record, yo. Let's get it. Perfect record for your boy. Boy has been thriving. What, what you mean? What you mean we missed that? Ice <laughs> Crash coming in hot. That could take me out, but I'm pretty bulky. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty bulky. So we know we outspeed him. We know we outspeed him, so I'm just going to go into a Shadow Force here. And then I am just going to drop a nice level miss at this point. The Muddy Water misses too much. Like, there should be a better move for that. We're going to Shadow Force. He's probably going to go into like an Ice Crash into me. But we're going to be able to dodge it with huge with Shadow Force. 
Shadow Force is just an upgrade version of Phantom Force. It's just way better. But there's that. Ice Crash can come through here. Get out of here. Get out of here. We dodging that easily. No problem whatsoever. Shadow Force is going to fly through here. It is going to be able to maybe pick up the KO. If not, Moonblast should be able to come through the side and pick it up. But, dude, Shadow Force hits hard, man. It hits hard. I love this move so much. But, yeah, what a set of battles for today's video. Absolutely dominated with the Garatina team. Which I love, dude. This team was very, very fun to play with. I love the Galarian Zapdos on it, but more importantly, yeah, we got to show off Garatina in every single battle. How versatile he can be up against different Pokemon. And he's super, super strong up against Shadow Ryo Kallax, who is a huge part of the meta right now. But Shadow Force comes out here, does a decent chunk of damage on a Glacier. Considering how bulky that Pokemon is. And here comes our Moonblast. Can Moonblast clean it up? It sure does. Let's get it, baby. 3-0 for today's video. Great set of battles. Awesome way to finish off today's video. It's always a good video when you grab yourselves a perfect record, and that is exactly what we did today. I had a blast recording with this team right here. We got Garatina, showed him off to his fullest potential, dominating Shadow Rider Calyrex teams, and we got to show off the other Pokemon as well. We got to show off the Zapdos a little bit, the Tapu Fini, the Incineroar, and the Stakataka. The only Pokemon we didn't get to use was the Moongus, but it's all good. That's a standard meta Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.